Eric Peterson on Williston Trending Topics, News Radio Live. And welcome to the studio as we do every Tuesday morning in the 8 o'clock hour. Eric Peterson from Proven Realty EXP. Today we talk about the three biggest home buying mistakes. Good morning, Eric. How are you doing? Doing great today. How about you, Tom? Doing fantastic, but don't worry about me. I'll get better. You're missing a great morning. The sunrise is beautiful, and it's going to be in the 40s today. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, it's going to, The 40s is, is good news. Let's talk real estate as we do every Tuesday morning. Three biggest mistakes. Get us started. Well, there's a whole bunch of them, and there's um, a ESPN segment that talks about, come on, man, like those things that you do that you wish you wouldn't have done um, yeah. in hindsight. And the same thing is true in real estate. Uh, realtors all the time are wondering why our clients do these things, especially right up to the close that ended up costing them dearly and potentially deals. I would say right now, the number one biggest mistake in Williston or anywhere in Western North Dakota is not getting pre-approved. So what's happening in the rest of the country with rising interest rates, what's happening is home prices are down, demand is down, and it's really turned into a buyer's market. Not the case in Western North Dakota. We have more buyers than we do houses for sale. So you have to get pre-approved if there's any chance of you winning that bid. Realtors are very smart. Sellers are picky. Many, many times there's a multiple bid situation, Tom, and you want to make sure no matter what happens that you get that pre-approval so that when you do ha find that perfect house, you're ready to go and that your offer is received. So no matter what, whether you have the highest bid or not, if you're not pre-approved, the seller's liable to move away from you, not wanting to take the risk that you don't get approved. Exactly. Yes, that pre-approval is gold. And uh, obviously, that's going to separate you from the rest of the pack when you are bidding in a competitive situation. Houses, again, are going five to 10000 more than asking price. We just heard a property go 35000 higher than asking price just last week. And with the two bank failures that we've heard about over the weekend, this past weekend, uh, it's not going to get any better anytime soon as it regards as, as regards to interest rates. Absolutely. Interest rates are going to go up. The Fed said last week they're going to continue pressuring to fight inflation. And we would recommend finding a local lender that is on the ground that you can go in and meet somebody with that has the expertise to get you that loan, get you that pre-approval, and then hold your hand to the finish line on the financing side. Cannot imagine that the real estate executives across North Dakota took that news of interest rates climbing very well. Yeah, it's going to hurt the rest of the economy. And obviously, uh, as we've talked about before many times, a poor fiscal decision from uh, the Fed. Now, before we get back to the three biggest mistakes home buyers make in this market, your advice to real estate execs about how to handle this interest rate problem. Yeah, you have to obviously uh, be aware of uh, all the nuances of it. You have to be more strategic with uh, recommendations for your clients and specifically start looking at arms, some shorter term um, interest rates with an adjustable rate mortgage on the backside. That's very strategic. We've been uh, recommending those and uh, putting people in touch with lenders. And then the other main thing is, can your seller, if you're representing a seller, can they actually offer a points buy down to the buyers to make your house more enticing? And if they do, they're going to be able to get out of that house quicker. Yes, sir. That's right. All right. Back to the three biggest problems uh, that home yeah. buyers make. They are. Yeah. The, the number two one is not getting an, uh, an inspection during your due diligence. That's when you're kicking the tires of the house. We've seen people say, you know what? I don't want to spend the four or $500. I'll have my buddy come over and look at it. Well, guess what? Your buddy may not be licensed, bonded, trained properly, may not know what to look for specifically. We've had a lot of water the last couple of springs and it's gonna be a big snow year as well. They need to make sure to be getting into those areas and the crawl spaces in the attics, checking out these roofs that got damaged with the hail. And you wanna make sure to not waive your inspection items until the very last moment, peel back all the layers of the house to make sure that it's what you think it is that it's functional, that it's safe, that's going to work correctly. You just need to make sure to do that. And it is not a time to be chintzy, that's for sure. As we unpack this inspection part of the uh, program this morning, I've uh, actually personally know people who have taken the insurance money that was supposed to go to 
uh, fixing the roof on their property and pocketed it because they knew they were going to sell. This is a problem. It sure is. It's terrible advice. Don't ever do that. So anybody listening right now that's considering doing that, don't do it. What will happen is whoever comes to buy the house on the other side won't be able to get it insured. So unless you want to write out a big check at closing to essentially the insurance company or make those repairs yourself or give a credit to the buyer, you're really going to be up a creek without a paddle and it's bad advice. So that is a major pitfall that obviously could have fallen on this list of things to do, but uh, certainly falls into that inspection category. And how do you find an adequate, uh, good inspector? Is your real estate agent supposed to do that for you? Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to, right? We're not supposed to recommend into any individual one person for um, liability reasons. So we usually give in our buyer's guide for new buyers, we give a list of approved um, inspectors that we've previously used that are vetted, that are licensed, that are bonded, and most likely uh, professionals. And that really is going to be helpful to find the right one. Number three biggest mistake that home buyers make in this climate is what? Yeah, this is going to feel pretty loaded if you ask me. Um, it's totally biased, but you need a professional on your team. So hire an agent. Doesn't need to be us, obviously. Find somebody with the experience, somebody that's been around, that knows the questions to ask, that can navigate the turbulence of buying a house, and that will use that experience to help serve your best interest. A lot of people will see a house on Facebook and they're like, oh, that seems like a good idea. I'm going to do a direct deal with the owner. That's a costly mistake. A lot of times the seller doesn't really realize all of the things you have to do as a seller may not have filled out a mandatory property seller disclosure. And those are the types of things to help avoid problems down the road. Similar to going into a doctor, you can certainly, you know, check out your symptoms online. You can Google what you have and you can treat yourself. Why would you do that? Go find a doctor, somebody that's going to take care of you, especially if you have a serious situation. Why would you risk one of the biggest investments of your lifetime and one of your biggest purchases by thinking that you're smarter than you are? Find oh. a pro, find somebody that can help you get it done. And more significantly, somebody that can uh, save you money through negotiations and use their experience to get you the best deal. Oftentimes, I tell people, of course, you can do your own advertising. I can cut my own hair, but it won't look very good. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's uh, move on. Uh, and talking about finding a real estate agent, how do you do that? How do you vet a real estate agent? Yeah, that's really a, a smart question. You can obviously look online, read reviews. Google has made that process really easy. How long has that agent been in business? How many transactions have they had? What type of transactions? There's a lot of residential agents that dabble into commercial and industrial, which is a totally different animal. Make sure that your agent is well experienced in the type of property you're looking to buy or lease. And then really, it's a feel thing. Interview a couple of them, ask them those questions, and most significantly, find out how they're listening to you. Just because they have experience doesn't mean that they're the right fit for you and that they're listening to your pain points, listening to your needs, and can help you solve your problem. Top three biggest home buying mistakes with Eric Peterson this morning, Proven Realty EXP. Eric, I can't let you go without talking this morning again about the economic climate. Things are really on, on top of the news right now as it relates to interest rates, as it relates to banks. And your advice to the real estate agent as to what they should be doing now, how they should pivot in this climate. Yeah, that's right. It's going to come down to um, getting knowledgeable, sharpening your sword, learning more information about what really ch um, changes the dynamics of the real estate market. And then you should be really praying every single day that we're not in the rest of the country that is in a financial downfall. And you look around the country, 30, 40, 50 percent drop in business. We are actually getting calls again from outside agents that used to dabble back here that want to come back in. That's just really a sign that the rest of the country is suffering. So thank your lucky stars that you're in Williston and in Western North Dakota in the Bakken. Strong economy, lots of buyers, and obviously not a lot of new builds. So it's becoming very competitive. Recap uh, today. Anything further from you, Eric Peterson, on this Tuesday morning? Yeah, absolutely. Um, don't do anything to upset your financing. Don't in the process of after you're already pre-approved, you found this nice home, you're ready to go. Don't go down to Drew and buy a car. 
don't quit your job don't all of a sudden take out these crazy loans that are going to get you kicked out and uh, not able to get across the finish line hire an inspector it's well worth the money and find a real estate professional that's going to guide you and navigate you through the home buying process or even the home selling process Eric Peterson, Proven Realty EXP, with us every Tuesday morning in the 8 o'clock hour. Before we get out of here, how do they get a hold of you? Yes, 701-369-3949, or you can check us out online, provenrealtynd.com. 17 minutes after the hour. Thanks, Eric. Have a great week. You too. Thanks, Tom. Eric Peterson, Proven Realty EXP. We'll see you soon. Take care.